Okay, this is an assassination uh, side quest for Far Cry 4, where you've got to get the dog tags off this dude, but you've, you've got to hide his body as well, so um, you've got to be st super stealthy on this one. So like there's an eagle waiting to drop down and attack me here as well. So you've probably seen, if you've seen the other videos, how random this world is. I mean, it's just... Oh, Pagan's Wrath. Now, let's have a look where they are. I need to destroy one of them. Oh, that's this, these dudes here. So they may, they may, they may come up the road, but... Um, sounds like someone was attacked by an eagle then. Um, anyway, we've got to go and take out this dude and assassinate him. So you have to take him out and then hide his body. And you can do it without even interacting with any of the other dudes. in the locale, uh, or oh, actually it looks like we're quite a way away from this place, oh, there's the eagle, what the hell, it's normally about four arrows for one of those, Probably going to get attacked by an eagle. I know it's, fl it's flying overhead, you can see it. Where the hell is that eagle? He's prowling. There, oh, there. Oh. Looks like the eagles. There, there. <clears throat> so, yeah, just, just the randomness of this game is unbelievable, and all Far Cry games, in fact. If you just go for a wander rather, you know, stay off the beaten track, you just never know what you're going to run into. This looks interesting. Oh, help, that would do. I don't know what he's doing to that wall, but I'm going to raid this chest. Oh, that's a, that's a radio tower that I've um, already liberated. I like to take the high ground because you can. Ah, oh, I think there's something up here we can use. Maybe it'll speed up our travel. Here we go. We can jump on this. I, don't, I haven't uh, done this in the uh, one of the playthroughs yet. Let's go. Right, so we're going to head over towards the waypoint. You can actually cover quite a bit of distance with these things. If I bailed, I could then go to the little wing seat. Which is even more fun. So, we've, we've covered a bit of space here. And you've got to take the parachute out pretty soon, otherwise you end up nose diving into the ground. Which is what I did before. That's probably about the nicest landing I've ever done. Right, actually, let's jump in this car. It's quite a long distance uh, for an assassination attempt, actually, I must say. You're doomed in the radio freak you out. So, as you guys know, Pagan is using the now defunct local tea distributor, Kyra Tea, as the center for all the floor now, business. Just as a little diversion, there's something strange here. Now oh, these are the masks that you can with a, that a serial killer leaves behind. Then you can tell you're getting close because you hear this humming noise. Now this lot is all underground somewhere, so maybe the entrance is down here. There is a question mark here. And again, oh Christ, that was a bit rough. Cave system, that's cool. Oh, see the little rats down there. Okay. He's stuck in a little hole. That that's very unusual. 
they must be meditating because they're floating in midair. I haven't had that many glitches. I mean, you do get the old Ubi glitch, open world glitch, or in fact, they're all open worlds. So, uh, this is going to be a great place for his stash, but it looks like he died, and that noise means that the serial killer got him. So the question is, is it underwater? I sometimes hide the masks under here. And there's the mask on a skeleton. So, it will unlock a, a, a gun if I get another couple, a couple of those. I think we're, there's nothing else in here, I think we're done here. <coughs> yeah, because some of the collectibles unlock signature weapons, so, that are really good. This is a signature weapon, this is a gold signature weapon, it's a uh, really good pistol for stealth. If you bring up the menu with the L1, and then hit R1, you get these craftable buffs. This one is good for spotting uh, enemies. This one is for protection, physical protection, that's for running. So, so where are we going? We're going over that way. So hopefully this should help me run a bit faster. It also enables you to swim faster and uh, Some tapirs or tapirs. Don't need to kill any more of those. I've got my upgrades for those. Cool, and I've got this. Really does make you. I'm gonna have to use this more often. You're like super, uh, not like the million dollar man running through it. They don't last long though. You can um, buy skill points that will improve the uh, effectiveness. Oh, it looks like they're on an island. This lot. This is a really interesting one. Doesn't look like there's anyone protecting this side, which is good, so we'll swim. Hopefully there won't be any nasty fish in the sea here, because you sometimes get some nasty fish or nip at your heels. Now this looks like a cool assassination attempt, I just hope I don't cock it up. Since I've travelled so far. Kill the commander without being detected. Oh, well, there. That's the uh, fish. We may have to do some. Now, I haven't had a chance to find out where everyone is, so this is where the hunter vision comes in. Right, so now immediately you can see roughly where all these dudes are. Now the yellow one is the one we're after. Where are they? And he's down the bottom. So maybe we avoid all these fellas. Try and get to the right side. Ah, look, you can see the... Uh, see those, those are the fish that were attacking me earlier on. So it's a really good way of, without, oh fuck, that's not what I wanted to do, I want to get behind the captain. Take him out quietly. Look, you can even see the fish either side there, it's a really good. Uh... Yeah, what I need to do is find a bush. See if I can attract someone's attention. Let's thin the herd. I've got a tank down that enables me to drag them off into the bushes, so we're just throwing stones here at the moment. Okay. Oh, it's coming. Come on, boy. Let's go 
keep throwing these stones to lure in. Keep an eye on these other dudes. Make sure they're not going to see you attacking. Spread out and start looking. Oh shoot! shoot anything suspicious. Now I've got my heavy takedown, so if it was a heavy. Really want to be throwing stones when they're in this hyper activity now. I can't really, they're, they're too bunched up, so I can't really. Uh... Come on, let's get one of them. Come on, come on. Man. Standing on his corpse, and I was obviously above the uh, the bush height. Damn it! You can restart this, so if you failed it miserably, like I just did. Oh, that's good. A jet ski's appeared. Yeah, let's see. He's on his own now at the moment there. Taking a bit of a risk. I know there's a load of dudes here. Let's try a different tactic. He's coming. We need to separate him from the others. that we can put the body. I think I looted him when I... Uh... I think we've done it now. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Well, that was successful. Go for a nice little celebratory jet ski ride. There you go, that's how you do an assassination in Far Cry 4. Love this game. It's so much fun just to, uh, whilst in lockdown, just have a little, little play around. <laughs> 